Let's see what are ratios and proportions. Ratio means simply comparing one quantity or one value to another. Let's take an example. Let's look at this stripe. Suppose you want to compare the purple squares to the green squares. Then you can say that there are two purple squares to one green square. Or you can write it like this, two and these two vertical dots, which is called as a colon. So two colon one, or you can call it as two to one, or this can be written like this, two over one, like a fraction. Let's look at one more picture. Now in this picture, if you want to compare the purple squares to the green squares, you can say that there are two purple squares two three green squares and you can write like this two colon three or two to three or two over three so these are the different ways to write a ratio now where do we use it can you think of something when we cook food whenever you hear or read a recipe to prepare something, that recipe always uses ratio. For example, they say that if you want to cook rice, you take one cup of rice and two cups of water. What is this? This is a ratio. That means for one cup of rice, you are going to take two cups of water. So the ratio is one to two. Where else do we use ratios? You can compare the number of girls and the number of boys in a class. For example, you can say that there are 12 girls to 18 boys in a class. Now, when I look at these two numbers, 12 and 18, I can see that both of these numbers are divisible by 6. So, let's divide both the numbers by 6. So, we get 2 to 3. That means the ratio of girls to boys is 2 to 3. That means for every two girls, there are three boys in that class. The ratio two to three, it's in the lowest term. It is called as the simplest form. It is the simplest form of the ratio. So what we understand is ratios can be scaled up or scaled down. That means the ratio 12 to 18 can be scaled down to two to three or it can be scaled up. Say if I multiply both the numbers by 10 then the ratio could look like 120 to 180 so it can be scaled up as well but typically we always scale it down to the simplest form so that it is easy to use the important point here is that to scale up or to scale down you need to multiply or divide the numbers by the same value and when you scale up or scale down the value of the ratio does not change. The value remains the same, only the numbers change. It is quite like fractions. Where else have we seen a ratio? On a map. You can see on the right hand side, it says scale and it says 1 centimeter to 400 kilometer. What it means is that 1 centimeter of distance on the map is equivalent to 400 kilometers of distance on the ground. Now this scale is quite like a ratio. See I am just saying it is like a ratio but I am not calling it a ratio. Why? Because ratios do not have any units. You see here they have written the unit like centimeter, cm and kilometer which is km. Ratios do not have units. So if you want to write this as a ratio, you will have to make sure that both the numbers are in the same unit. So if we convert the kilometers to centimeter, so that means write some extra zeros after 400, write five more zeros after 400, then it will look like this. One to 400 and five more zeros. This is a ratio. So what we understand here is that ratios do not have units. 
if you want to write a ratio to compare two numbers, then both the numbers have to be in the same unit. Now let's look at this stripe again. What we did before is we compared the purple squares to the green squares and we said the ratio is 2 to 3. This kind of a ratio is called as part with part. That means I am comparing one part to another part which is 2 to 3. I can also compare the purple part with the whole stripe. That means I can say that the ratio of purple part to the whole stripe is 2 to 5. That means there are two types of ratios, part to part and part to whole. So far, whatever we have seen, we have always seen ratios of two numbers. But that doesn't mean that ratios compare only two numbers. It can compare three, it can compare five, it can compare even ten values. For example, suppose there are animals in a farm and I say that the ratios of cows to goats to sheep is 1 to 2 to 5. What it means is that if there are 8 animals, what is 8? 1 plus 2 plus 5 equals 8. So if there are 8 animals, then out of these 8 animals, there will be 1 cow and there will be 2 goats. If there are 80 animals, there will be 10 cows. If there are 16 animals, then there will be 2 cows. So this is the way we use ratios to compare more than 2 numbers. Now let's see what is proportion. Proportion means equity of two ratios. When two different ratios are equal, we say that these two ratios are in proportion. Let's see an example. 12 to 8, this is one ratio. It is equal to 15 to 10. It is another ratio. How do I know that these two ratios are equal? Let's write these ratios in terms of fractions. So the fractions would look like this. 12 over 8 and 15 over 10. Now if you reduce 12 over 8 to the lowest term, it would be 3 over 2. Why? Because 12 and 8 both are divisible by 4. 4 3s are 12 and 4 2s are 8. So it will be 3 over 2. Similarly, for 15 over 10, you can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. So you get 3 over 2. That means both the ratios or both the fractions are really 3 over 2. That means these two ratios are in proportion. And we use ratios to keep things in proportion. Have you used proportions anywhere? When you calculate percentage. For example, if you say that what is 30% of 150? 30% 30 is 30 out of 100. That means 30 over 100 or 30 to 100. It is a ratio. Any percentage is a ratio ratio of that number to 100. So 30% 30 is a ratio, 30 to 100. And when you are saying what is 30% 30 of 150, what you are actually doing is, you are doing like this, 30 over 100 is equal to question mark over 150. That means you are comparing two ratios and you are saying that these two ratios are equal, right? So this is actually equity of two ratios. That means this is proportion. So whatever percentage problems you have solved or whatever percentage problems you have seen, all those problems are problems of proportion. So when you calculate any percentage, you are solving a proportion problem. We will solve some ratio problems and some proportion problems in our next videos.